Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today's one is uploaded by the user MinerBat in Discord so a massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation and their system is called the Solar System from Memory. So let's see what they see what they've prepared for us here. So let's go ahead and open this. It should be in here it is. Yeah, okay. So just got it uh, downloaded now. All right. Interesting. Okay, so what is this? I made the solar system from memory. The rules I gave myself. No adding default objects. I'm only allowed to change stats on random objects. No looking up information. Setting in-game units like mass or distance to uh, things like Earth is okay. But that only works for objects that have units based on the moon, Earth, Jupiter, Sun. Feel free to... Def okay. Feel free to place default objects to see how they compare to my def... Okay. So he's basically made the system without using any of the custom... Okay. Interesting. Well, Sedna's orbit is really inclined. Wow. So we don't see any... None of them are... Except they're all spherical orbits apart from Sedna, effectively. So obviously these would be more eccentric normally. Okay, so let's actually have a look. So this is this is interesting. So the sun itself... Obviously, that's nice and easy. One sun, one sun, one sun for all of its stats. So that's a pretty nice, easy curation there. Next up, we got Mercury. So he's built Mercury without using the normal Mercury template here. So let's check its radius. So normally, Mercury's radius is 2,440 kilometers. So, okay, so he's made it a little smaller than the normal Mercury. So, yeah, okay. So, yeah, Mercury is 2,440, isn't it? Uh, let's actually compare it up. If, I remember, if my memory serves me right, it should be 2,440. Which it is. Ah, my memory serves me well. Okay. So there's Mercury. Nice. Oh, oh, hang on. I saw that. Mercury's losing mass. It's struggling. Oh, no. Mercury. Or fake Mercury. Oh, dear. But, yeah, I mean, yeah. For a homemade Mercury, it looks good. Got the colours all right. So, looking good. Okay. Next up, we got Venus. So here we go, and yeah, Venus is also a good looking one, I mean the atmosphere, I mean you won't be able to tell that's any different really than the normal one other than the green shade. Uh, radius is one Earth, so okay, so that's actually larger than Mercury or Venus should normally be, because I think normally Venus is about, was it 6,800 roughly kilometres, how, how large is, so how large is this, so there's normal Venus, so what, what is this in kilometres, okay, oh it's only 6,000, okay. So, oh, am I saying 6,800? Yeah, 6,052. Because Earth is about 6,173, if I remember right. Uh, okay, cool. So, let's have a look underneath. What does Venus look like under here? So, oh, okay. The colours are looking a bit bizarre for a Venus. Okay. Interesting. No, actually, I just want to reread the description. So, what did he actually say? So, I made the social system memory. There was no adding default objects. I'm only allowed to change that some random. No looking up information online. Setting in-game units like mass or distance to things like Earth mass is okay, but that only works objects that have units based upon them. Like... Okay, so I don't know. Was he aiming to make Venus? There's one. Was he? Did he? Did he make it one Earth on purpose? Or I, I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure if I understand. But yeah, Venus is obviously a little larger than it should be. Okay, next up we got Earth. So this should be six three seven one. If I remember right. I think it's going to be 6371. So the radius is actually smaller than Earth should be. So let's have a look. So, yeah, Earth is 6371, isn't it? Uh, radius wise. So, let's see here. Kilometers. 6371. Yeah, okay. So he's made the Earth, his custom Earth, smaller than it should have been. Okay, interesting. And I did think he, uh, he may have missed a trick here with the city lights. Now, are those... Or maybe... No, no, maybe he did do it. No, I, I think that is an Earth map, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, nice trick. Yeah, cool. So, at first, Gantz was like, hang on, that doesn't look particularly right. But obviously, it's the constant shape and stuff. Okay, excellent. And then it's also got a moon. The moon. So, I'm guessing this should be one moon. Yeah, okay. Nice. Cool. Right, next up, we've got Mars. So Mars is one I always forget. So is it six nine six something six nine six? So what, what is Mars normally? So it's actually it's actually bigger than what Mars normally is. Okay, so what what is Mars normally? So Mars should be three three nine zero. Okay, so this one is 
3969. Okay, so it's a lot larger than normal Mars. Okay. And we've got Phobos and Deimos there as well. Obviously, they're pretty straightforward. So there they are. Okay. Orbits are very, very spherical for this. Okay. Then we've got Asteroid Belt. We've got Ceres in there as well. Obviously, Ceres is quite a nice, easy little build. Ceres is way too big, though. 0 0.24 Earths. The series is a lot smaller than that. It's what it's about four, three four hundred, isn't it? Radius. That is, yeah, that's way too big for series. Uh, this should only be about four hundred, isn't it? Yeah, four seventy. That's that's huge. That series is proper planet size. Okay. Uh, next up, we've got Jupiter here. Obviously, that's nice and easy. One Jupiter for all the stats there. Looking good. Even got the red uh, spot of it as well. Because if you name an object Jupiter, it activates it. Nice. Definitely think it needs more bands, though. It's also Jupiter's quite a complex design. Uh, Io. Looking a bit green for my liking for an Io, I have to say. But every, each one to themselves. So there's Io. Europa. So that's nice and easy, just all frozen up. Ganymede. Should be more of a browner object, but it's grey. Okay, and then Callisto should be the dark sort of gray black sort of color no also just a uh, generic sort of grays okay next up we have got saturn so the saturn looks good i mean nice easy uh color for that one We've got mimus here 276 there we go that's that's more of a correct size isn't it uh enceladus 0 0.2 earths that is way 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 too large for enceladus enceladus is only a little larger than mimus that's uh, that's way too big. I mean, that's larger than mostly all of Saturn's moons other than Titan. That's what Enceladus should look like. Or should be. That's huge. Okay. Titan. Oh, he's missing out Tephys, Rhea, Dio. Okay. So there's Titan. 0 0.3 Earths. That is, again, huge. Okay. But I think that's actually smaller than what Mercury is. And Titan is larger than Mercury. Mercury should be Mercury's two four four oh, so this is actually too small for a Titan, actually. Yeah. So Titan should be like that. Okay. Atmosphere is spot on though. I mean we can see here colour wise that is perfect. Okay. Looking good. Okay, so that's all of it for Saturn. Next up we've got Uranus. Okay. Very, very colour enhanced Uranus as well. Interesting. Uh, Miranda is the closest of the major moons. That should be the closest. Uh, so let's see. That should be more. That should be inside the orbit of Ariel. I mean, that should be more like that for Miranda. So it is the closest of the major moons. That, I can tell straight away that's too large. Yeah, 0 0.25. Yeah, that Miranda's just a little, about the size of Mimus. It should be more about more like that. Um, Miranda, Ariel. Okay. Uh, again, that's too like Uranus's moons aren't that big. I want to say that's too large for Ariel. I mean, how like Ariel is? I know it's smaller than Pluto is. So, I mean, let's actually compare it to Pluto because Pluto would be a good benchmark. So, yes, larger than Pluto. Yeah, that's that's way 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 too big for Ariel. Because I mean, Titania is the largest moon of Uranus, and even that's smaller than Pluto. So, yeah, zero point two five two Earths again. Yeah, that's that's too big. Uh. Yeah, that's that's huge for uh, the moons of Uranus. Okay. Next up, we've got Neptune over here. So, actually, what is the radius of? Uh, let's look at the. Speaking of size, how large are these guys? So, 0 0.5 Jupiters for Saturn. So, what's Saturn normally? It's about it's, uh, radius is 0 0.299 Jupiters. Okay, so that's a lot bigger than it normally is. So that's really just, I'm just going to line them up, actually. So how does this actually look? So, oh, it goes Jupiter, Uranus, Net... Ooh, so Saturn... What's going on with Saturn? What's happened with Saturn in this system? Okay. And Uranus, Uranus is big... So Uranus and Saturn are almost like the wrong way around. Huh. Very, very bizarre. Okay. So, I mean, Saturn's about 59,000 kilometers. I know that. So, well, that's 35. Okay. How this is this... What's this, then? Okay, so this is more of Saturn size then. Uh, Neptune is. Uh, it should be about 25,000. So that 36. Yeah, Neptune's huge as well. Um, for this, okay. 
It's a very enhanced net. Obviously, Neptune blue on it. Triton, how are you doing? This should be basically Pluto size as well. So it'll be about 1,000, is it 1,400 roughly? So that's also quite or too large as well. Huh, okay. But yeah, Neptune again is. The, the gas giant sizes are huge. Pluto. So this should be about 1,000. Was it 1,000? I think it's 1,000. Oh, what is Pluto? It's about one. Is it 1,200 kilometers? Somewhere around there. I know Eris is about 1,353. So Pluto should be about 1,37, 1,38. If I remember right. So, what, what is Pluto? So, there, there's Pluto. So, what is Pluto? So, it'd be like 1,300 and something. And that's 1,186. Okay. And then Iris is 1,153, I think, it, if I remember right. So, okay. So, Pluto is... Yeah, Pluto's uh, not too far off. Okay. Nice. And then Charon here. Okay. So, let's compare you to the... So, the real... So, how, how large is... I don't know what Charon is off the top of my head. It must be around 500 kilometers. Where is, where, where is it? Uh, there it is. Okay, so a little, uh, little bigger. So what is that in radius? It must be about 500 kilometers across, or halfway across radius. 604. Okay. Interesting. Okay, Pluto. Then moving on. Okay, so Iris should be next. Oh no, Make Make is next. Okay. So this is, I'm sure this is around 600 as well. So that, I can tell you straight away, that's that's way too big because that's larger than what Pluto and Eris are in reality there. Next up we have Eris, speak the devil. Again, that's way too big for Eris. It should be about 1,000, yeah, that 1,150 odd or whatever. So that's way too big. Pamea, 0 0.2. Again, that's huge. I mean, 0 0.25 Earths. That's 25% Earth size. That's massive. And then lastly, Sedna. Very, very inclined orbit as well. 0 0.30. So that's even bigger than the other ones. Yeah, that's that's very, very uh, bizarre. I mean, let's have a look at the scaling down here. Let's, let's see here. But I'm not sure what the gas giants are all about, having Uranus bigger than Saturn. I mean, that's weird. So Venus is larger than Earth. So what's down here? So we can see there's Titan. Is that Ganymede? So, yeah, they're larger than Mercury. So, Mercury's obviously quite small as well. Okay. Oh, so we're completely missing the Galilean moves. I mean, so we've got Mercury, Sedna, Callisto, and Callisto and Io should be bigger than most things here as well. So, where are they? Yeah, they're Mars down the list. Okay. I mean, off the top of my head, the moon sizes are Ganymede, Titan, Callisto. Then I think it's. Io, the Moon, Europa, and then it's like Triton. So we can see, yeah, they're all in the completely, completely wrong orders. Okay, what's Io? Io and Europa are way too small. Well, compared to the other ones, anyway, they they should be bigger than a lot of these. And then down here, Charon, Miranda, and Mimas. See, those two are similar, and then Phobos and Deimos at the bottom. Okay, that's an interesting take on the solar system. So going off memory. But, yeah, interesting, interesting stuff. Maybe I should have a go at doing it. Huh, because I, I mean, I do quite know my number. I know my numbers fairly well, actually, so. Huh, let me go if you guys want me to have a shot at this. It'd be quite an interesting, interesting thing there. I mean, I'm quite inclined to have, give a go, have a go myself, to go off memory. I'll have to film it on a separate day, so it's not all fresh in my head, but I reckon I could probably have quite a good shot at doing that. It'd be quite interesting, actually. So yeah, what do you guys think? Shall I have a crack at making the solar system off memory? Because this is quite an interesting concept, and I think overall he's done quite a good job. I mean, the sizes are a bit all like, I, 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 yeah, I'm not sure uh, where he got a lot of the sizes from, having uh, Uranus larger than Saturn, but I think the way he's actually designed the system as well, I mean, yeah, I could easily recognise this as the solar system, just judging by the outer orbits. Obviously, the inner orbits look spot on, really. I mean, what, what, what? let's look at the distances from the sun here, I mean... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're pretty much all correct. I mean, close enough anyway. I mean, you can definitely identify it as the solar system. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, Jupiter here. I want to say Jupiter's uh, pretty far out. Okay. Saturn, 22 years at Saturn. Uranus should be about 80. That's actually too close. Uh, Neptune, 181. Okay. And then Pluto, 202. All right. 
Interesting. Cool. That's good stuff. Okay, cool. But yeah, there we are. So that does it for this system. So a massive thank you to the creator of this system, Miner Bat, for sending this in. Yeah, very interesting concept. I did like it. So yeah, let us know what you guys think of this down below in the comments. And yeah, I think I will give it a go. Yeah, I definitely think I will give this a shot and see uh, see what I can come up with. Um, remembering the solar system by memory. So that's, that's an interesting idea. I like that. So, yeah, we are. But, yeah, anyway, so let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video, guys. Also, subscribe if you're new. Help us on the journey to uh, 25,000 subscribers. It's much appreciated. Really, really appreciate um, each and every one of you. And, yeah, um, good stuff. Yeah, really, really good stuff. And, yeah, really, really appreciate it, um, everyone. So, yeah, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, like I said, make sure to press that like button um, if you enjoyed it. But, yeah, with that, we'll send them. Make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.